welcome to the channel and you join us on our the start of our four day adventure to Northumberland as We're we ride the 250 the Northumberland 250 myself the old man and, and me she that must be a bird so we're about to uh, drop onto the A66 in Stockton and we're going to head to Darlington and then onwards to Barnard Castle. So join us on our adventures. Enjoy! Well, as you can see, there is plenty of roadworks and it was like this on and off on most of the journey. It seems like there's been quite a few roads resurfaced of late. Yeah, we just, well, we found out as we were riding that uh, maybe it's because of the, the, um, the good weather, there was a lot of resurfacing work going on in Northumberland over the, the, the four days we were exploring. But this is us coming into Barnard Castle for a quick eye check up and get some fuel. Although we had three quarters of a tank I decided to fill up here before we set off. Yes. And we're fully laden on the old Himalayan. Yeah, as you see and I didn't move because at this point he said to me what did you do? Just and I like, didn't do a thing. I had to stop because there was a white, white van coming in and then as I turned the bike, the camber of the road and I was only going slow and then suddenly it seemed to pitch over. I caught it though. After blaming me. <laughs> I didn't blame you, I asked if you'd moved. There's, there's, Jesus, do we, we have to have this argument every time. <laughs> no blame is given, I was just asking if you'd moved. No, I didn't. Anyway, <laughs> now that we're on the road to Stanhope, across the mowers, uh, this is a nice road from Barnard Castle to Stanhope, uh, and the weather was glorious, even though Madam on the back said she was cold. She's got no blood. Uh, as the days went on, it, I did get warmer. I actually ditched the buff after, after a day two, but this day I definitely had my thick winter buff on. But if you noticed, I never d ditch my winter gloves. All true. <laughs> no, no. We, we did take some, well I had my summer gloves on but I took my winter gloves with me, my waterproof gloves. And so did uh, she, that must be a bird here, but she, you were the other way around, you kept your winter gloves on. Oh yes. I only once thought about Look at that view. Off. Look at that view. Forget your gloves for a second. Look at that. The it Durham was. Dales. It, it was glorious. Nice. And it, with, with the nice uh, bright blue skies it was it was a lovely trip over the entire trip Northumberland is well worth an explore yes I know the bike trips fun but I'd like to do it in the car because that way I can literally walk away Shop. with that walk away have a mooch round and not have shop. to carry a helmet <laughs> shop you mean shop you can go shopping I told you what I want to go up there do Ah, I missed the turn here. Uh, we were too busy chatting and enjoying the view. And uh, this guy had been a bit weird. Well, that's why I was having to watch him as well. Uh, so I missed a right turn. Um, and a little bit further on, just as we dropped down into the next valley, I realised we'd gone too far. Mainly because I saw a sign for Teesdale and I thought I don't want to go to Teesdale. And he went so I turned round, headed those. back, and cut across on this road to join the original road we should have been on. But this was a nice little ride through these trees and whatnot. Yes, yeah. And you didn't mock me too much for having to turn around and going the wrong way. No. Uh, I did get a bit more harsher over the week, yeah. over a few days, because you did do it quite a few times. That was on day three. <laughs> Sat and I've seemed to be playing silly beggars. It kept randomly trying to take us back to the start of the journey. I don't know why. I think it's because of the diversions, because we're having to go off route because of diversions. The sat nav would then try and rejoin the route, but back at the beginning. But what's better than this? Riding back lanes, back roads, on a nice swab summer day. Mm -hmm. And every so uh, screaming because of the potholes. There you go. We're back on the right road at this point, and we're back in sheep country. You can always tell sheep country. 
Yeah, the sheep. The sheep. We well, cr cross the cattle grid and then we get lots of heather. We've left the green fields down below. Yep. It was uh, fun and games with the suicidal sheep. But there was quite a few uh, birds of prey I spotted on the journey. In fact, there's a suicidal lamb coming up along here, I think. Him and his mum came bouncing across, fast, didn't they? I think the lamb was trying to join its mother on the other side of the road. I said along here, it could be miles now. I'm confused. <laughs> yes, we know that. Old and confused. Here it comes. There it is in the middle of the road. Pops across. But I had to slow down for that. And the car behind me suddenly thought I was slowing down to let it pass. Yeah, it scared the living jailites out of me. Because I, I didn't know it was there. And it just came burling past. And this is the second suicidal sheep. Oh. The one that we're both laughing at. Oh. The one with a... Very it wouldn't move. Oh no. Very strange habit. Very, very strange habit for a sheep. It's not you know they do it quite often. Why would you want to do it? I think it's got something to do with salts on the road. Here it goes, licking the street. Yep. She's licking the, the road, road and she's in no... No way she was moving. No, no. Pay does no, never mind. Anyway, it's back up the next hill and across the top and we should be at Stanna. In fact, this is us now dropping back down into Stanna. The camera doesn't do these hills justice, does it? Doesn't show them quite as steep as they are. No, not really. Little railway crossing. Ah, this place was selling bits and pieces of books. There's the stepping stones across the stand. Yeah, they were selling everything. Yeah. Things, to, fishing nets for kids mm -hmm. to play in the the water in. But well, here we are at the Dales Visit Centre, Durham Dales. Shut up, you're about to talk. All right, we've just stopped in Stanhope for a, a late breakfast. Um, we set off this morning from home, went through Darlington to Barnard Castle, and from Barnard Castle we've come over the motor to Stanhope. Um, if you're not from the northeast and you're looking on a map, it'll say Stanhope, um, but it's pronounced Stanhope. And I've just spoken to the nice two nice ladies in the gift shop here at the Dales Visit Visitor Centre and um, the Durham Dales Visitor Centre in Stanhope, and they vouchsafe that it is Stanhope. The locals call it Stanhope, not Stanhope. Which is great because I always thought it was Stanhope and then I thought it was somewhere else when I saw the sign coming in saying Stanhope. A bit weird when you never really look at how things are written down and just know them as being something. Anyway, we stopped here at the tea room at Stanhope at the Durham Dales Visitor Centre. Um, where for a reasonable £13 and a nice... Well, Karen got a cup of tea, I got a nice coffee and we had some amazing bacon buns. A big sandwich, big bap, call it what you want. But uh, three massive rashes of really thick cut, proper bacon. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Even the fat on it would taste it so nice, I ate it. And usually I pull the rind off, but there's no rind on it, just fat. And the fat was buttery and bakery. Ugh, I want another one. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you're in the area, in the Durham Dales, come to the Durham Dales visit the centre, go to the tea room, treat yourself to a bacon sandwich. She's busy having a mooch about while I get the bike ready. 
from Stanhope we're going up to Corbridge. We might call in at the there's a Roman village at Corbridge. We're going to go and have a look at that. Um, but we're going to get back on the road and head to Corbridge. Um, and we're going to go up to the English Heritage. We've got a site there, like a Roman village or Roman centre at Corbridge. So we're going to go and have a look around that before we move further on. We might call into Hexham, see how time's going. We've got plenty of time, we don't have to be... We're booked in at uh, Risdale at the Gun Inn for tonight, so plenty of time, not too far. But I didn't want to go too far on the first day uh, and upset Mad Madam if she gets a sob bum. Cheeky. Oh, here she comes now. Because even though I offered to kiss it better. Dirty old man. Best said, less said, now I'm going to move on. So get the 360 camera on and uh, get loaded up ready to go to you there. told me to be quiet then because i was speaking on the camera and then you just abusing me you need it and yes the bacon sandwich so you're being was filthy now saying i need abusing it was a very nice bacon sandwich don't uh, mind me they were really nice they were and i had a little look around the gift shop but i was told under strict instructions i wasn't allowed to buy anything it's day one and the bags were full <laughs> I left room in my bag. Yeah, as we went round, you were shedding clothing. And not in a fun way, you were just leaving things. You'd wear them and you, you'd pack lots of old clothes just to ride in and then throw away. Yes, I thought that was a very good way to sort of get rid, excuse to get rid of some of my old tops. They did either have holes hey, in. Look, look, grey clouds are back. Yeah, that was the night thingy. It wasn't cold though. Yes, it bloody well was. Yeah. I had my base layer, a long sleeve top, a t-shirt on, and my jacket, uh, long jeans, and my biker leggings, and yes, I was chilly, and my buff, and my winter gloves. <laughs> and a t-shirt, <laughs> no. and a jacket on, that was it, and all my vents were open. Uh, no, mine were closed, my back one was open. You no blood. Yep. Anyhow, where are we now? We're heading to Corbridge. Yes. Across the moors to Corbridge, where we're going to have a break, stretch his legs. And you're going to feed me ice cream. Well, you are. If you love somebody, feed them ice cream. <laughs> I notice you haven't fed me ice cream for a while. No. I've just uh, give you a bag of crisps. Oh, well, lucky me. Right, back to the video. Where are we? <laughs> Heading to Carbridge. Heading to Carbridge. <laughs> with, with suicidal sheep. <laughs> Lots of suicidal sheep. Yes, a fair but few. But the skies are blue now. A fair few times I had a habit of uh, knocking the uh, speakers off between us. So at one point we went through past a field full of chickens and I was like, chickens, and then realised he couldn't hear me. Well, there you go. But this is us just coming into Corbridge, I think. Well, we detoured off the route to take in the Corbridge room and which he, visit the centre. Which he told me we'd never been to, and as soon as I walked into it, I went, we've been here with the kids. Yeah, as soon as I walked in, I realised we'd been there. Uh, many, many years ago, the kids were only little. Yeah, there was a reenactment. Definitely a very good place. If, I mean, there's the little museum which Eric's just going through there. But a very good place if your kids are doing the Romans at school. You can see cr crushed bugs on the camera lens because I still haven't got used to cleaning the lens at every opportunity. I think I told you. Well, you, you, you did later on while you were looking at it. Yeah, because you gave me it while you went for ice cream. When you came back, I told you it was dirty. I cleaned it then. Yes. But this is Corbridge, the Roman site of Corbridge. It's English heritage and you do have to pay to get in. Yeah, it was, was it about £39 for a, sort of two adults, two kids? You might think that you're moving very slow and yawning here. That's because although you were telling me off or putting me right or whatever you were doing to me, I've made this slow-mo to pan round so people can have a look at the site. Well, it is a, a very nice site. 
if you're there on a nice day. Oh, yeah. I think both times we've been, luckily, it's been nice weather. But you know yourself, we've walked around these sites in the rain in the past. Oh, I. What was Billy Conley said about the weather? Yeah, Buy yourself some waterproof clothes and live a little. Yes. But it was absolutely glorious at this point, so we found... You mean it was toastly warm and you weren't feeling chill? Yeah, only because I didn't have the wind. Anyway, that's car bridging, we're now getting back on the road. At this point we decided that neither of us had brought any cash and we were now going to find a, a cash point. Yeah, so we went to Hexham just for a cash point and went to Tesco's, got the cash and then left Hexham promptly. Yes, we did. Because he wasn't leaving his bike anywhere in Hexham. Not so you could go shopping. <laughs> there we go, Hexham. And a river, look, the river. Well done. <laughs> I mean, Hexham is a nice place if you want to visit and have a mooch about, but we've done that. Whenever I think of Hexham, I think of that trip where you bought the Tilly hat. Yep, yep, my Tilly hat I bought in Hexham many years ago. 20 years ago? Mm-hmm. Well, they always tell you those hats are guaranteed for life. Well, we bought it on my 30th birthday. Shh, don't let people know how old you are, sexy. I'm a lot older than that. <laughs> right, here we go, we found the cash point. And we decided it was easier for me to go with his card. <laughs> you, you say that, but it comes out the same bank. We only have the one bank account. No, I have mine. You mean our old joint account? Yeah, that you were supposed to close it, it just never got closed, so I use it. No. That's because my disability goes into it. Anyway, cash got, off we trot. There you go, sexy footage with you in it as well. Where are we? Uh, Aiden Castle. There's a sign over there. I think it's Aiden. A Y D O N. Aiden Castle. We had been here as well before. English Heritage, Paint Display Car Park, cash only. Three pounds. There you go, three pounds. And free for members. Free for members. It isn't a huge site, but it is quite interesting. It's one to bear in mind to come the zombie apocalypse because it's quite defensible. <laughs> well, a small community could live in that. Well, it's a nice place to have a picnic in the sunshine. Oh, see, that's useful information for all those zombie preppers out there. And um, that's why last time I think we went, it was really busy. There was lots of people having picnics there. But again, years ago, with the kids. See, it's still got a courtyard. Being very, very careful in them boots, making sure I didn't slip on the stairs. I was trying out my new boots. Oh. I'm well impressed with those new boots. Well, they look a bit... Oxford Merton 2s. They look comfortable. Oh, they were. Very comfortable. I could see this being a nice place to have a, a, a wedding ceremony. It's English heritage, I could see that being a very expensive place to have a wedding ceremony. <laughs> yes. I say there's quite a bit to it.
from being such a warm day, I was thinking, it's about time for a drink. Sorry, what was that? Okay. What, dressing up box? Ah, sure. Oh, you perfect. Yeah. Perf. yeah, you'll make perfect comments about dressing up boxes. <laughs> no, I think Makes you a change were. from me making perfect comments. No, I went, oh, dressing up box, and you, you then made the comments. I didn't. So... Don't be blaming me. It's always you. So we'd had a, a nice drink. They used to do Fentimans. I really wish English Heritage would go back to Fentimans. What is it they have now? Oh, I forget. It's not as nice as Fentimans. No. Anyhow, this is us on the road out from Ayrton Castle. Back onto the A68. Yes, this is getting near to our accommodation. It wasn't far, was it, after we um, did that? Stop it in. Well, we're on the A68 between Hexham and or Corbridge and Otterburn. Mm. So we're closer to we need to be closer to Otterburn by the end of day one. Yeah. But as I say, I kept the day fairly short. Yeah. I didn't want you being injured on the first day or sulking so much you make, made me take you home. No, I wouldn't have made you take me home. I might have made you drop me off at a town where I could have got a bus home. Yeah, like that would happen. I'd take you home. Nah. I'd say, no, you go and enjoy the trip. I'll go home. No, no, I'll take you home. Drop all your kit off and then I'm light now. I'll go back and enjoy myself. <laughs> Told you you didn't have to take me. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, this is that guy that tried to run me over. Look how nice the days. Yeah. And the days will only get better. Yeah, and you actually got away riding two up with all the luggage. Cause you've... And some bumpy gravel tracks as well. Yeah, we bottomed the shocks out a couple of times, I think. <laughs> yeah. There you go. If we're going to do this more often, I might have to invest in a better shocker for the, for the back. There we go, back on the main road. I've got to say the road from Corbridge to Otterburn is quite straight. There's long sections of very straight road with lots of blind summits where you can't see what's on the top of the hill just over it till you get there. Sat back enjoying the view and watching out for wildlife. There, there you go. I am. Sat back enjoying the view. Oh, strange camera work. Do you know why I did that? Because you could. Because I can. <laughs> for no other reason. Long straight roads. Yeah, I don't think I was as cold here. At least the scenery is a lot better than you would find on a dual carriageway. Oh yeah, I didn't like it when we did the dual carriageways. I found them horrible. That's it. I enjoy watching out for wildlife. We only had to jump on a dual carriageway for short bits, and that was only I think three times. Mm. Only one of them because we, we got on a Darlington, and they were only going to be on at ten minutes. The next one was when we went to Hexham to get from mm. Corbridge to Hexham. It was just easier to take the dual carriageway for a few minutes. And there's a short section of A1 after we left uh, Annick. Didn't we do one jet for a while? Well? Mm, I don't think so. Mm. Well, this is us dropping down into Risdale. It was a very nice little village. Very friendly. I want to go back again. Oh, here's the gun in coming up on the left. And that window, just the left of the sign, is one 
We stayed in. Yeah. Definitely want to go back to this place. It was very, very... Yeah, heart, heartily recommend this. Can't recommend it enough, actually. The it was brilliant. Community run, friendly, reasonable price. The meals. I mean, it was the most dearest accommodation we booked. But, but it wasn't that expensive. No, we booked one slightly cheaper, but it didn't come with breakfast where this did. So making the other one dearer. Breakfast was really nice. Yeah. Anyway, we'll talk more about breakfast and the pub in the next video. But I think yes. this has been going on long enough. So let's call it an end. Yes. Thanks for watching Old Man and a Shed.